Hi there, another episode of Shapemaster. Today I will talk about randomization. Uh, we are starting the same way as before with sequencing. 2 volt range. Uh, and over here we have, let's zoom a bit, we have entire menu of uh, randomization. So this is simple, right? We're randomizing different shapes. Um, but with stepped, we can have randomized sequencer. So now I will set it to exactly 16 steps. In addition, I will select quantized. So now we have a chromatic sequence. And finally, I will quantize it to, uh, let's say, my major pentatonic, pentatonic major. And I always like to switch this off, so it looks pretty. Now, here's a trick. If you switch this grid to 24, nothing will happen yet. And by the way, uh, instead of pressing uh, this menu and randomize, you can actually hold Alt key and randomize. But uh, so far, this sequence doesn't listen to the grid. Uh, but there's a menu here, but there's an option in this menu, lock to grid. <laughs> and notice that this does not have anything to do with swing. Swing works in a different way in uh, Shape Master. What is happening here is that we have Euclidean rhythms. Um, if you watched uh, my video called um, Resampling uh, Sequencer, um, I talked about why resampling sequencer, and this is what we're doing here, right? 16 uh, step sequencer casted on a 24 grid. Um, but when we do that, and when this value is lower than this value, then we get one of the Euclidean rhythms. So for example, if this one is 16, Euclidean 9, 16, for example, is this. Now, obviously the problem is that sometimes some notes repeat. Um, so that's when you don't have exactly Euclidean rhythms in those cases. But here we have a pure Euclidean. And because we have minimum and maximum segments, we can randomize it each time differently. It's really nice. Now, in order to move forward, I will create my own clock, just like we did in the previous video. I like using channel 8. And this has to be much faster. Okay. And then clock sync. And let's... Yeah. Now, um, I did it because I want to be able to have more channels that are running in sync. And I will use channel 7 um, to create some random gates. Now, it might not be immediately obvious, but you can easily do random gates. Uh, I'm leaving range on 0 to 10 volt. Step. Um, and then all you need to do, you don't even have to use quantized. You just move these two values until they uh, go in opposite direction. So let's say I want to have occasional random gates. Right, pretty, pretty useful. Um, so let's say I want those random gates now to randomize this pattern. It's 
very simple, right? And by the way, this also has to run the same grid. Now, uh, I will probably keep it simple for now, and I won't uh, have those random gates for now. Uh, I will just use one every, let's say, eight bars. So we will repeat this um, sequence, randomized sequence, every... Uh, we will repeat it four times. Now, um, uh, what uh, we will add to this is a second channel. And this time I will make it into eight step sequence. And um, you can actually randomize that to Micromelt, very nice uh, little module. It has preset uh, names. You can actually type it. Uh, let's say it's probably easier to just type it. Yeah, and we will go through that. And this way we can randomize both channels at the same time. There is a really interesting um, possibility here, which is uh, swing. Uh, on shorter pattern, it, it really behaves like swing because it plays um, those patterns in pairs. So one is faster than the other. But here, if we set it to exactly 50%, Right, it's pretty nice. Uh, we have a sequence that uh, changes tempo exactly to uh, half tempo, and uh, yeah, it's double the speed. Um, another thing we can do is um, we can create random glitches once in a while. Now, this is not quantized. We will. Lock to grid stepped. And let's say we will go for 64 grid. Let's just select it so we can see it. So now we have those random uh, shapes and I want to have them sporadically. So zero volt ratio will be greater here. And um, this is nice because uh, okay, let's do phase. I will I will use it to glitch phase of those sequences. So let's do one for now, and let's synchronize and let's maybe use it as. Right, so I'm glitching phase here. Now, notice that it's not perfectly on the grid when we're, when we're glitching, when the phase is moved. Uh, in order to, to do that, uh, I will use bog audio, um, and I will scale it to exactly 1.25. Uh, so we are casting that 10 volt range into eight subdivisions of the phase, right? From 630, and uh, we're dividing into eight, because we have eight step sequence or 16 step sequence. So um, I will run through it. And in order for this to work, uh, I need to quantize this randomization to one octave uh, grid.
right? So now it glitches properly. <laughs> Basically, it's like jumping um, to different um, part of the sequence. And I will uh, have another one um, doing the same, but differently on uh, another channel. I also want these two patterns to be randomized. And finally, uh, there's a little uh, trick here to make it uh, these patterns la even less predictable, because right now these two patterns are running uh, exactly the same length, two bars. But there's a fader here. Uh, let's do, let's have a clear, clear view this uh, little button activates uh, something that in other modes is called sustain uh, point, sustain and sustain, start of sustain. But here it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, but it's it actually offers us a very nice feature, which is the, the whole purpose of this um, right now is to give us end of sustain, so basically a trigger here. So now I can I can uh, reset my channel one, and if I switch off this lock button, I essentially have uh, six, uh, seven, eight pattern, or fourteen by sixteen. So this de facto acts as uh, number of steps, um, except we can do really uh, non-integer numbers. So it's very, very nice uh, also for sequencing. There's a little trick. Uh, both of these channels uh, are quantized to pentatonic scale, major. Uh, but if we invert that, we get minor pentatonic. And you can even overlay these two. And they will give us Dorian. <laughs> so uh, what we can do is, uh, yeah, we can have that automated too. And finally, finally, before we go, I just want to um, bring, uh, yeah, let's do Omri time, time for mushroom picking lights off. Notice how beautiful this module is <laughs> with uh, Omri's module in the lights off scenario. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in another episode. Shape Master is just awesome. <laughs>